Hello and welcome my lovely friends. My name is Faye, this is Cloud, and today I have a full body stretch and breathe class, but this class is all focused on self-love and kindness. So in class today, we'll work with some affirmations to help us cultivate a little bit more self-love so then we can share that love with others in our local community, global community, and with each other. So let's go ahead and get into it. We'll get started today in a comfortable seat. If you have a block or blanket that you would like to kind of sit up on to help elevate your hips, make sitting just a little bit more comfortable, you can find a loose cross of your legs one in front of the other. And then when you arrive, feel free to kind of make any last minute fidgets, wiggles, just so you can get 2% more comfortable wherever you are. And then when you arrive, go ahead and release all the air from your lungs. Let it go. <sighs> Let's take a full breath in together. Fill all the way up. And then open your mouth. Exhale, sigh it out. Let it go. <sighs> Let's do that once more together. and Take a nice deep breath in. And open your mouth. Exhale, sigh it out. Allow your eyes to soften down or fully close if they haven't already. Invite ease and softness into your face and shoulders. Relax your jaw. Relax your arms. Relax your back body, hips, legs, and feet. Allow yourself to settle into this moment right here, right now. There's nowhere else to be, nothing else to get done, other than simply being present in this moment. I invite you to start to scan your body from head to toe. Just simply check in, notice how you're feeling. Notice if there's any residual tension or tightness or any holding or gripping in your body. And if or when you come across something that feels a little tense or tight, see if you can invite in just a little more softness, a little more ease. Allow your breathing to be relaxed and natural. For today's class, I thought I'd share a quote to inspire our practice together. It's by author and songwriter Bo Taplin. Self-love is an ocean, and your heart is a vessel. Make it full, and any excess will spill over into the lives of the people you hold dear. But you must come first. Self-love is an ocean, and your heart is a vessel. Make it full, and any excess will spill over into the lives of the people you hold dear. But you must come first. Bo Taplin. If you would like to set an intention for your practice today, a quality or mindset that you'd like to embody or cultivate as you move on your mat today, I encourage you to do so now. Perhaps you'd like to focus on the theme of today's class, which is self-love. Or perhaps there's another quality, acceptance, trust, peace, openness. Whatever it is, breathe in your intention. Allow it to fill your internal space. and breathe your intention out. Allow it to guide you as you move on your mat today. Invitation to bring your hands together. Just create just a little bit of heat between your hands. Rub your hands together. And then you can place one hand on your heart space and one hand on top. Take a moment just to breathe into your hands. 
feel the heat that you generated, the energy. This time on your breath in, breathe in the feeling of love. And breathe out the feeling of love. Breathe in kindness. And breathe out kindness. Take one more full breath in through your nose. Keep your lips sealed if that's okay with you. And exhale out through your nose, let it go. Gently start to flutter your eyes open and welcome yourself back into your physical space. You can release your hands down by your lap or alongside your body. And wherever you are, inhale, shrug your shoulders all the way up to your ears. And exhale, roll them down and back. Let's do that once more. Inhale, shrug your shoulders to your ears. And exhale, roll them down and back. Very nice. Inhale, this time sweep your arms to the sky, look up. And then exhale, bend your elbows, turn your palms forward, cactus your arms, squeeze your shoulder blades together. Let's do that a couple more times. Inhale, stretch up, look up. And exhale, cactus your arms, open up through your heart. Inhale, reach towards the sky. And exhale, cactus. Very nice. Release your hands down by your side. Take a quick note of the cross of your legs and then extend both legs out long. Give them just a little wiggle and shake and then bring the opposite leg in front this time. So you just switch the cross of your legs. And inhale, sweep your arms towards the sky. And this time exhale, twist to your right. Right hand comes back behind you, left hand on your leg somewhere. Inhale, push into your right hand, get tall through your spine. Exhale. Start to peek over your right shoulder. Maybe your eyes even go towards the right corner of your eyes. Take one more breath in right here. And one more breath out. Inhale, return your gaze and your arms back towards center. Reach your hands to the sky. And exhale, twist to your left. Left hand comes back behind you, right hand on your leg. Inhale, push into your left hand, get tall through your spine. Exhale, slowly start to peek over your left shoulder. Notice you're not cranking with your right hand to pull yourself around. You're lifting and lengthening through the spine and allowing the twist to come from the upper back, upper shoulders. One more full breath in right here. And one more full breath out. Very nice. Inhale, untwist, reach your arms towards the sky. And then exhale, release your hands down towards the earth in front of you. Allow your back to round and fold. Your chin can come in towards your chest. You can stay static or if it feels nice, you can start to rock your shoulders off to one side and then the other, just finding a little bit of movement in the spine and the back body. And then when you feel ready, you can return back to stillness. Inhale, crawl your fingertips all the way over towards the right side of your space. Exhale, press your left hip down towards the earth. Press your hands into the earth. Soften through your face and your jaw. Inhale, walk your hands through center. Stay here for an exhale. Inhale, crawl your hands over towards the left. And then exhale, press your right hip down towards the earth. Press your hands down into the ground. Very nice. Inhale back to center. Stay here for another exhale. Inhale, crawl your fingertips back up so you can arrive back upright. And then exhale, relax your shoulders down away from your ears. Inhale, sweep your arms towards the sky. Exhale, allow your right hand to come down towards the earth. Left hand reaches up and over. Hips stay heavy on the earth. Notice if your left elbow wants to come forward. See if you can 
Spiral your chest open up towards the sky. Press your elbow back. Very nice. Inhale, lift back up to center. Reach both arms towards the sky. And then exhale, left hand down. Right hand reaches up and over. Side bend to your left. Again, see if your right elbow starts to come forward. See if you can press it back, open up through your chest, open up through your heart space. Very nice. One more time each side. Inhale, center. Exhale, right hand down, left hand reaches up and over, side bend. Inhale, reach back to center. And exhale, left hand down, right hand reaches up and over. Very good, inhale up to center, and then exhale, roll over onto your hands and knees, tabletop shape. You're always welcome to take a cushion underneath your knees. This is a class all about self-love, so we're not doing the whole no pain, no gain type of class, so please always do and modify what feels good for you in your body today. When you arrive, tuck your toes, stretch through the bottoms of your feet. Inhale, dip your belly towards the earth, lift your gaze, cow pose. Exhale, release your feet, press into the earth, round through your back, tuck your chin in towards your chest, cat pose. Inhale, tuck your toes, dip your belly, lift your gaze. See if you can really pull your heart through your biceps. And then exhale, release, scoop and round, really create space between your shoulder blades. Very nice. Continue moving through your cow and cat with your own breath. Feel free to hold in one shape if that would feel nice. So if you'd like to take a couple of breaths in your cat pose or a couple of breaths in cow, please do listen to your body and, and do so. If you'd like to add some other organic free movement in your cat and cow, maybe you'd like to start to rock your hips off to one side and then on to the other side. You can kind of feel around, see what feels nice. Or you could stay stacked Wrists underneath shoulders, knees underneath hips, and bend your elbows and just rotate your torso in one direction. We call these barrel rolls. Or maybe you're kind of finding a little movement front and back. Again, feel free to do what feels right for you. You can't do this wrong. You're just starting to warm up the spine. You might even just close your eyes and tune into what feels good for you. It does not have to look any particular way or even be symmetrical. We're here for a few more rounds of breath though. So if there's one thing that you're doing on one side and you'd like to do the other, or if you'd like to change it up, maybe you'd like to kind of tuck your toes, stretch out your feet or roll out your wrists here. You could take the backs of your hands towards the earth and your fingertips towards your body. Maybe find a little movement from side to side. Be gentle. Explore what might feel nice, dipping your shoulders. And then when you feel ready, you can return back to stillness. On your next inhale, separate your knees slightly wider than your hips. Bring your big toes to kiss. Exhale, send your hips back towards your heels. Forehead comes down towards the earth or on a block if the ground feels far or on a pillow. And if it feels nice, you can find a little rock of your forehead from side to side. Your fingertips can stretch out long towards the top of your mat, or you can have a soft bend in your elbows, or maybe you even stack your arms one on top of the other and place your forehead down on your hands. Come back to your breath. Notice what it feels like in the body as you inhale and what it feels like on the exhale. See if you can breathe into your upper back, your left side body and your right side body. Come back to your intention if your mind starts to wander. Take one more full breath in right here. And one more full breath out. Inhale, extend your arms back out in front of you. Return back to your tabletop shape. And then exhale, bring your knees back underneath your hips. Spread your fingers nice and wide. 
think starfish hands, and then press into all 10 finger pads, really press down so you're taking the weight out of your wrist. Tuck your toes. This time, inhale, press into your hands, lift your knees up just an inch off the ground and hover. Stay here for an exhale. Feel strong in your arms, your legs, and your core. One more full breath in, you got it. And one more full breath out. Softly lower your knees back down to the ground. You can keep your toes tucked and walk your hands back towards your legs. And if this feels too intense on the toes, you're welcome to keep your hands on the ground or untuck your toes, but we'll give your toes just a little stretch. They do so much, our feet do so much for us and we sometimes don't show them enough love. So give them a nice little stretch here. Give them a little, find a little movement from side to side or front to back. If you'd like, you can kind of stretch out your hands. So extend your hands out in front of you and rotate them down towards the earth and maybe make a fist and roll out your wrists in one direction. And then go ahead and reverse directions. Very nice. And when you feel ready, maybe you give your fingers just a little wiggle and shake. And then join me back onto your hands and knees, tabletop shape. Again, spread your fingers nice and wide, tuck your toes. Inhale, press into your hands and lift your hips up towards the sky. Send your hips back, exhale, downwards facing dog. When you arrive in this upside down V shape, feel free to adjust. So maybe you wanna walk your feet closer together, wider apart, whatever would feel nice. And then take an inhale, bend into your right knee, straighten through your left. Draw your belly back towards your right thigh. Exhale, switch, bend your left knee and then straighten through your right. Inhale, switch again. And exhale, switch once more. You're welcome to continue to pedal out your feet here or hold static. Very nice. One more full breath in wherever you are. And one more full breath out. Inhale, look forward towards your hands. And then exhale, be careful if you have a prop in front of you, walk your feet forward towards the top of your mat. When you arrive, bend your knees generously, fold forward over your legs. Gaze goes between your legs, head hangs heavy. Forward fold, very nice. Take your hands onto your shins, inhale, reach the crown of your head forward, tailbone reaches back behind you, half lift. And then exhale, bend your knees generously and fold. The belly comes towards the thighs. Gaze goes between your legs. One more time. Inhale, straighten your legs. Reach the crown of your head forward. Nice, strong spine. Draw your shoulders from your ears. And then exhale, fold. And this time, bring your hands towards your ankles. Tuck your chin in toward your chest. Bend your knees slightly. Inhale, roll yourself all the way back upright. Head comes up last. And when you arrive all the way to stand, exhale, roll your shoulders down and back. Let's do that one more time. Inhale, shrug your shoulders to your ears. And then exhale, roll them down and back. Very nice. Inhale, reach your arms towards the sky. Exhale, soft bend in your knees as you fold forward over your legs. Inhale, halfway lift. Reach through the crown of your head. And exhale, fold. This time, tuck your chin in towards your chest. Roll yourself all the way up. Inhale. Head comes up last. Exhale, roll your shoulders down and back. Allow your palms to come forward. Spread your fingers nice and wide. Ground down through both feet. Take a full breath in right here. And take a full breath out. Feel free to repeat after me. I love myself exactly as I am right here, right now. Do it one more time. I love myself exactly as I am right here, right now. Very nice. Inhale, stretch your arms all the way up to the sky. Look up. And then exhale, soft bend in your knees, fold forward over your legs. Inhale, halfway lift, crown head reaches forward. 
and exhale, fold, plant your hands. Step your right foot back and then your left. You're in a plank pose, top of a push-up. Option to lower your knees here down towards the earth. Walk your hands underneath your shoulders if you like. Take another breath in. Exhale, elbow creases go forward. Lower all the way down to your belly. Keep your elbows hugged in. Ground down through the tops of your feet. So really press your toenails into the earth. Your forehead is on the mat. Take a breath in. And then take a breath out. Inhale, lift up your head, chest up off the ground. Keep your chin tucked in slightly. Baby cobra. Exhale, lower back down. Let's do that one more time. Inhale, lift your head and chest up off the ground. Little to no weight is in your hands here. Getting your back nice and strong. Exhale, lower back down. Inhale, hands underneath your shoulders, press up into tabletop. And then exhale, send your hips up and back down, or excuse me, back to your heels for your child's pose. Take a full breath in here. And a full breath out. Very nice. Inhale, tabletop. Exhale, tuck your toes, send your hips up and back, downward facing dog. Very nice. Inhale, look forward towards your hands. And exhale, float your feet up towards the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. And exhale, fold. Root down through your feet, bring your arms out to a T outside of your body. And then inhale, root down through your feet, rise all the way up to stand, reach your arms up towards the sky. Exhale, bring your hands together, draw them through heart center. Take a breath in. Take a breath out. Take your feet hip width distance apart or maybe a little bit wider. Right hand to your right hip, left hand reaches up towards the sky. Take a breath in. Exhale, side bend towards your right. Inhale, reach up towards the sky. Both arms reach up. And then exhale, left hand to your left hip. Right hand reaches up and over, side bend to the other side. Very nice. Inhale, reach both arms towards the sky. And then exhale, soft bend in your knees, fold forward over your legs. Inhale, halfway lift. And exhale, fold. Plant your hands. Step your left foot back and then your right. Again, your, your plank pose, top of a push-up. Option to lower the knees if you'd like. Wherever you are, take a full breath in. And then exhale, keep the elbows in as you lower all the way down to your belly. Ground down through the tops of your feet. You have an option here. You can take the baby cobra we did last time, or you can slide your thumb knuckles back to your lower ribs, squeeze your elbows in, and press up into cobra. Stay here for an exhale. One more breath in. And then exhale, lower back down to your belly. Inhale, tabletop. And then exhale, send your hips back towards your heels, child's pose. Very nice. Inhale, tabletop. Exhale, tuck your toes, send your hips up and back, downward facing dog. If it feels nice, you can find a little sway of your hips from side to side. Very good. One more full breath in right here. And one more full breath out. Inhale, walk your feet forward towards the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Root down through your feet, arms out to a T. Root down through your feet and rise to stand all the way back up. Look up. And then exhale, hands together, draw your hands to your heart center. Take a moment, check back in with your breath. Check back in with your intention. Notice how you're feeling in your body. Inhale, reach your arms towards the sky. And then exhale, float your hands forward in front of you, palms face down. Take a breath in. And then exhale, bend your knees, sit your hips back into a chair. Your hands can continue to stay out in front of you. 
You could bring your hands into heart center if that would feel better. You can bring them out to the side in this cactus arm shape or arms by your ears. Choose whatever feels good for you. Notice if you feel a lot of tension in your lower back, you might find a slight tuck of your tailbone underneath. Weight is in your heels. If you check down, you should be able to see all 10 toes. And if you cannot, draw your shin bones back. Take a full breath in in your chair. And then exhale, maybe you sink one inch lower. You got it. One more breath in. And then maybe you sink one more inch lower. Exhale. Inhale, right down through your feet, rise all the way up to stand, reach up. Exhale, hands through heart center. Root down through your left foot. Inhale, slide your right foot back behind you. Your back heel is lifted, all 10 toes are towards the front of your mat. Hands can stay here at heart center. You can reach them forward up to the sky or cactus if you'd like. Take a breath in right here and a breath out. Very nice. Inhale, reach your arms towards the sky. And this time, exhale, cactus your arms, squeeze your shoulder blades together, open up through your chest. You can continue to do this, or if you'd like to add on, inhale, reach your arms towards the sky. And then exhale, bend both knees, sink down just a little bit as you cactus your arms. Let's do one more together. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, cactus your arms, bend your knees. Very nice. Inhale, reach up towards the sky. And then exhale, spin your right heel down, open your arms out to a T. Gaze this over your front left middle finger or directly ahead, whatever feels best on your neck. Actively press your left knee over towards your pinky toe and actively press into the outside edge of your back right foot. Nice strong arms here. If this feels like a lot on your shoulders, you could always bend your elbows and bring your palms forward too if that would feel better. Like a nice strong breath here in your warrior too and a nice easy breath out. Very nice. Inhale, straighten through your left leg, reach your left palm towards the sky and then back behind you, right hand travels down the back of your right leg. Breathe into your left side body, left rib, left lung. Gaze is down at the ground, somewhere in the middle or maybe all the way up in the sky. This is your sky archer. Take a full breath in right here and a full breath out. One more breath in, you got it. And then exhale, bend into your left knee, draw your left elbow to your left knee. Reach your right hand towards the sky or by your ear. Or another option is you can take your right hand behind your low back and you can allow it to rest in your left back pocket or left hip crease. Take a moment to check in with your Left shoulder, notice if you're dipping in and your ear and your shoulder are really close on your left side. See if you can continue to press up and out. Roll your shoulder back, open up through your chest. Stay strong through your legs, you got it. One full breath in right here. And one full breath out. One more full breath in. And then exhale, cartwheel your hands down to frame your left foot, right toe. Heel lifts and your toes are tucked. Root down through your right hand, left hand lifts towards the sky, twist open towards your knee. Take a full breath in right here. Option always lower your knee if you'd like. And a full breath out. One more full breath in. And a full breath out. Fantastic. Release your knee to the ground if it's not already there. Lower your left hand down to frame your foot and then slide your left knee back behind you. Take a breath in your tabletop, tuck your toes, and then exhale, send your hips up and back, down dog. Inhale, shift the weight forward to plank pose, top of a push up. Exhale, lower down to your belly. Untuck your toes. Inhale, take your version of cobra, so baby cobra, cobra, or maybe you press into the tops of your feet for your upward facing dog. Wherever you are, exhale, tuck your toes. Meet us back in down dog. Feel free to go through tabletop if you'd like. Take a full breath in here. 
and a full breath out. Inhale, look forward towards your hands. Exhale, walk your feet up towards the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, root down through your feet. Rise all the way up to stand, reach your arms towards the sky. This time, turn your palms forward. Exhale, cactus your arms, squeeze your shoulder blades together. Very nice. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, palms together. Join me at heart center. Take a breath in right here. And take a breath out. Check in back with your breath. Check back in with your intention, your heart space. This time, root down through your right foot. Inhale, slide your left foot back behind you. Back heel is lifted, all 10 toes are forward. Options to keep your hands here at heart center. Forward, cactus, or up towards the sky, wherever you are. Take a full breath in, and a full breath out. Relax through your shoulders, relax through your jaw. Stay strong in both legs. Your right knee is stacked right over your right ankle. Feel free to adjust your stance here. For more stability, you can always widen your stance. So to walk your right foot over towards the right side of your mat, or you could shorten your stance or widen it if you'd like. Choose what feels good. Maybe you even play with straightening the back leg and keeping a soft bend in it, finding what feels nice in your body today. Wherever you are, inhale, reach your arms towards the sky. Exhale, turn your palms forward, cactus your arms. Stay nice and strong through your legs, you got it. Inhale, reach towards the sky. Feel free to continue those cactus arms or add the bent knee to it. Exhale, cactus your arms and bend both knees slightly. Inhale, reach back up, high lunge. Exhale, bend both knees, cactus your arms. Whew. Inhale, reach up, you got it. Exhale, spin your left heel down to the ground this time. Open your arms out to a T, bend into your right knee again. Right knee presses over towards your pinky toe and actively press into the outside edge of your left foot. Take a full breath in right here and a full breath out. If your arms are out in T, maybe you check back behind you, notice if your right hand dropped a little bit, see if you can bring it back up. Or again, option always bend your elbows here and bring your palms towards the sky, whatever would feel best for you. Stay strong in your warrior two. Stack your shoulders right over your pelvis. Take a full breath in, you got it. And a full breath out. Inhale, straighten through your right leg. Flip your right hand towards the sky. Exhale, sweep your right hand back behind you. Left hand travels down the back of your left leg. Breathe into your right side body. Soften through your face. Relax your jaw. Notice where your eyes go that feel best on your neck. Up towards the sky, in the middle, or down at the ground. One more full breath in right here. And one more full breath out. I lied, just kidding. One more full breath in, you got it. And then exhale, bend into your right knee. Allow your right elbow to come down towards your right knee. The left hand reaches up towards the sky by your ear, or maybe you take that bind behind your low back. You can take your left hand to your right hip crease, left or right back pocket. Check in with your right shoulder. Notice if you're dipping into it and slouching. See if you can really press up and out of your shoulder. Press your left shoulder back, open up through your chest. Stay strong through both feet, you got it. One full breath in right here. And one full breath out. One more breath in. And let it go. Go ahead and release your hands down to frame your right foot. Left toes pivot towards the front, left heel is lifted. Option again to lower your left knee down to the ground if you like, or continue to keep your toes tucked and keep your knee up towards the sky, the back of your knee. 
wherever you are, root down for your left hand. Inhale, sweep your right hand up towards the sky and twist towards your knee. Take a full breath in and a full breath out. One more breath in here. And then exhale, release your hand back down to frame your foot. Inhale, slide your right foot back behind you. Tabletop. Exhale, press into your hands, send your hips up and back, down dog. Inhale, shift forward to plank. Again, option, knees down or up. Exhale, lower it all the way down to your belly. Inhale, take your version of cobra. And then exhale, meet us back and downward facing dog. Take a full breath in right here. And a full breath out. One more loving breath in. And one more loving breath out. Inhale, lift to your fingers. And then exhale, float your feet up towards the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. And exhale, fold. Arms out to a T. Soft bend in your knees. Inhale, root down, rise to stand. Reach your arms towards the sky. And exhale, hands through heart center. Take a moment just to check in. Notice how you're feeling. Come back to your breath. Come back to your intention. When you're ready, inhale, slide your right foot back behind you and spin. So all 10 toes face the long edge of your mat. Heels are in, toes are out. Inhale, reach your arms to the sky, five pointed star. Exhale, cactus your arms. You can have more of a cactus shape or maybe your elbows come down a little bit closer and you make more of a W shape. Let's do that one more. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, cactus your arms. Let's add on the legs if you'd like. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, cactus your arms. Bend your knees. Make sure they track over your toes. Goddess squat. Take a breath in right here. Take a breath out. See if you can settle. You got it. Shoulders stay stacked over your hips. Oftentimes we want to lean forward. See if you can draw your tailbone underneath you. Lift up through your chest. Squeeze your shoulder blades together back behind you. Very good. Inhale. Straighten through your legs. Reach your arms towards the sky. Five-pointed star. Exhale. Bend your knees. Cactus your arms. Do that once more. Inhale, reach up, five-pointed star. Exhale, sink down, goddess squat. Very nice. You're gonna release your hands to your thighs, fingertips in. Take a breath in right here. Get tall through your spine. And exhale, dip your right shoulder down as you start to peek over your left shoulder. Inhale, return back to center. Exhale, dip your left shoulder down to the center as you peek over your right. And if your legs aren't burning, inhale, rise all the way up to stand. Reach your arms up, five-pointed star. And exhale, goddess squat, cactus your arms, bend your knees. Release your hands towards your inner thighs. Let's do that again. Take a breath and get tall. Exhale, dip your right shoulder towards the center. Peek over your left. Inhale, reach back to center. And then exhale, dip your left shoulder down, peek over your right. Very nice. Inhale, straighten through both legs, reach your arms towards the sky. And then exhale, bring your hands to your hips. Turn your toes forward towards the front of your long edge of your mat, excuse me. Reach your arms out to a T, take a breath in. Exhale, bring your hands back behind you, interlace your fingers or hold on to your shirt wherever you are. Inhale, draw your knuckles down to the ground. Open up through your chest. And then soft bend through your knees. Exhale, fold forward at your hips. Allow your hands to rest on your low back or they might want to come up and over if that feels good. Or at any point, you can release your hands down towards the earth. So your feet are directly forward or big toes are slightly in in your wide-legged forward fold. Wherever you are, inhale. 
see if you can rock the weight forward into the balls of your feet. And then exhale back into your heels. Find that place right in between where it feels nice. Feel free to have a soft micro bend in your legs here as well. Take one more breath in. And one more breath out. If your hands are still behind your back, go ahead and release them down towards the earth. Bring your right hand right in front of your face. Inhale, push into your right hand. Exhale, sweep your left hand to your left hip. Open up to the left. Option to extend your hand towards the sky. Take a full breath in right here. And a full breath out. One more breath in. And then exhale, release your hand back down to the earth. Left hand comes in front of your face. Inhale, push into your left hand. Exhale, sweep your right hand to your right hip. Open up towards the right. Option to extend your fingertips towards the sky. Take a breath in. And an easy breath out. One more full breath in. And then exhale, release your hand back down to the earth in your wide-legged forward fold. This time, turn your left toes forward towards the front of your mat, and you might even angle in your right toes just a little bit more. And allow your hands to come and frame your left foot for your kind of a wide-legged pyramid. Take a breath in right here. Always option to have a generous bend in your knees. And a breath out. One more breath in. And exhale, let it go. If you need to, walk your right foot in a little bit more. Bring your hands to your hips, soft bend in your front knee. Inhale, rise all the way up. Stay here for an exhale. Very nice. You can allow your right toes to turn out more towards the long edge of your mat. Bring your arms out to a horizon, straight legs. Take a breath in, reach your left arm forward to press your hips to the right. And then exhale, bring your left hand down towards your left ankle, right hand reaches towards the sky for your triangle pose. Option to keep your hand towards the sky or maybe it wraps around your back. Soft bend in your front leg as well. Take a full breath in right here. And a full breath out. Inhale, look down towards your left foot and bend into your left knee, rise back up. Turn your, straighten your legs and then turn your feet. So left toes turn in, right toes turn towards the back of the mat. Reach your arms to the horizon, take a breath in. Reach forward and then exhale left hand down towards your ankle or the opposite leg. I may have mixed up the right and left here. <laughs> I'm trying my best to mirror, so just make sure you're doing the other side. Take a full breath in right here. And a full breath out. Again, option to always bend your top hand and bring it back behind your elbow or your low back if you'd like. One more full breath in. And a full breath out. This time, inhale, reach your top hand back towards the sky and lower it back down to frame your foot. Allow your back heel to spin a little bit further away from you so you're in this kind of wide-legged pyramid. Take a breath in and then exhale. See if you can melt your heart just a little bit closer towards your legs. Soft bend in your knee here is totally fine. Take one more breath in. And one more breath out. Bend into the leg, bend into the knee of the leg that you're folded over. Cartwheel your arms back up into a T. Nice strong legs. Take a breath in. And then exhale. Take one hand over your shoulder and then the other underneath or just give yourself a little hug. And you can find just maybe a little Twist from side to side if that feels good. You can start to heel toe your feet back together underneath your hips to the place where you like them to be. Inhale, stretch your arms towards the sky. And exhale, soft bend in your knees, fold forward over your legs. Inhale, halfway left. 
and exhale, fold. Plant your hands, lower one knee at a time, back down to the ground. And then make your way to your belly, however it makes sense to you. Stack your elbows parallel to the short edge of your mat. And you can place your head on top of your hands or arms. Make a little pillow. Take a moment just to check back in. Notice how you're feeling. If it feels nice here, maybe you bend your knees. Feet go up towards the sky. You can just find a little windshield wiper of your legs from side to side or just a little kicking motion. Did a lot on the hamstrings, so we'll just give them a little break. And then when you feel ready, return back to stillness. Allow your legs to come back down towards the earth. This time, bring your hands underneath your shoulders. Inhale, take your version of cobra, baby cobra, cobra, or upward facing dog. And then exhale, lower back down to your belly. Bring your hands to stack one on top of the other. Relax your forehead down. Very nice. Take a full breath in right here. And a full breath out. This time, ground down through the tops of your feet. Inhale, pick up your head. Draw your elbows underneath your shoulders. If this feels like a lot in your back, you can always walk your elbows just a little bit forward. Or a blanket, a small blanket underneath the hips is another great option. Or a pillow underneath the abdomen is a great option as well. So ground down through the tops of your feet. Press your pubic bone down into the mat. Spread your fingers nice and wide. Wherever you are, imagine you are trying to pull yourself forward, but you're not actually going to go anywhere. Feel a nice stretch through your front body. Relax your shoulders. Maybe your chin slightly tucks in towards your chest. So you have a nice smooth neckline on the back of your neck. Take a full breath in in your sphinx pose. And a full breath out. Very nice. One more full breath in. And then exhale. Allow your elbows to go out to the sides. Stack your hands. Place your forehead down. Take a breath in. Take a breath out. Repeat after me. I am worthy of love exactly as I am. I am worthy of love exactly as I am. I am worthy of love exactly as I am. On your next inhale, bring your hands underneath your shoulders. Press up into tabletop. Exhale, bring your knees slightly closer together and send your hips back towards your heels for a child's pose. Option to keep your hands extended out long or maybe you'd like to bring your hands back behind you with your palms face up, forehead towards the ground. If this does not feel comfortable on your front body, you can always widen your knees if you'd like. Take a full breath in here. And a full breath out. Breathe in the feeling of love and breathe out the feeling of love. Very nice. On your next inhale, bring your hands back underneath your shoulders and just slowly start to press yourself upright. And then make your way onto your bottom. Extend both legs out long. Scoot up towards the top of your mat. 
so you have space to lie down. If there's any props that you would like to have, blocks, blankets, while you're on your back, go ahead and move them so you can reach them while you're lying down. Option to keep your knees bent, reach your arms forward, take a breath in, exhale, slowly roll yourself all the way down onto your back. You can use your hands here to help you at any point. And then when you arrive all the way down on your back, you can take a nice full body stretch, reach your arms towards the sky or overhead back behind you. And exhale, draw one knee in towards your chest and then the other. Give yourself a little Rock from side to side, massage out through your low back. Check back in, notice how you're feeling. Try not to judge anything. If you feel like this was a challenge, no worries, it's not always supposed to be easy. And if you found this easy, that's fine too. See where you can maybe find moments of stillness or ease. Then when you feel ready, you can return back to stillness. Keep your knees bent, plant your feet. Take a breath in right here. And a breath out. Very nice. Inhale, lift your right leg towards the sky. Exhale, flex your right foot, cross it over your left ankle. You can take your right hand to your right hip crease, gently press it open. Or for a little bit more sensation, you can start to float your left leg up towards the sky. You can keep it bent or straight. And then thread your right hand in between your legs to wrap around the back of your left thigh or the top of your left shin. Come back to your breath. Notice where you feel sensation. One more full breath in right here. And one more full breath out. If your foot was lifted, go ahead and return your left foot down to the ground. Release your arms. Keep your legs crossed. Allow the backs of your right leg to touch the top of your left thigh. And then allow your knees to fall over towards the left. Shoulders stay heavy on the mat. You can bring your arms to a T or up overhead if you'd like. And maybe the gaze goes over your right shoulder. Feel a little stretch in your neck. If the cross of the legs feels uncomfortable, you're always welcome to uncross your legs. Allow your knees to come to the side. Take a breath in your supine twist. And a breath out. Very nice. Inhale, roll back onto your back. Uncross your legs. And stay here for an exhale. Keep your knees bent. Walk your feet back in alignment with your hips if they've shifted. And this time, inhale, float your left foot up towards the sky. Exhale, flex your left foot, cross it over your right knee. You can take your left hand to your left hip crease, gently press it open, or more sensation, again, float your right leg up, thread your hands back behind your right leg, or the front top of your right shin. Take a breath in. Exhale, maybe you draw your leg in just a little bit closer. One more full breath in right here. And one more full breath out. Release your right foot down to the ground. Allow your legs to cross one on top of the other. Take a breath in. And then exhale, knees fall towards the right. Shoulders stay heavy on the mat. Arms can be in a T shape, overhead, down alongside your body, whatever would feel good. Gaze goes over your left shoulder. Take a breath in and take a breath out. One more full breath in right here. 
And one more full breath out. Inhale, bring your knees back to center. Exhale, uncross your legs. Take your feet as wide as your mat and just find a little windshield wiper of your knees. So drop one, your knees off to one side and then the other. And then when you feel ready, return back to stillness. Walk your feet back in alignment with your hips. Draw one knee in toward your chest. Take a breath in. And then exhale, draw the other knee in. Give yourself a little squeeze, another rock from side to side. If you'd like, you can bring your hands on top of your knees and circle your knees out in opposite directions. Or you can free form it, no hands, and just make circles with your knees. Whatever feels good. If you're making circles, go ahead and reverse directions. And then when you feel ready, return back to stillness. Very nice. Extend your legs out long. Take a nice full body stretch. And then exhale, walk your feet over towards the right corner of your mat. Inhale, pick up your head and shoulders and walk them over towards the right corner as well. Stay here for an exhale. Breathe into your left side body. Option, always cross your legs. You can cross your right leg over your left ankle. You could hold on to opposite elbows, whatever would feel nice. Breathe into your left side body. One more full breath in here. And a full breath out. If your legs are crossed, go ahead and uncross your legs and inhale, return everything back to center. And exhale, allow yourself to settle right here. Just take a moment to notice. Inhale, pick up your feet and crawl them over towards the left side of your mat, left corner. And then exhale, pick up your head and shoulders and bring it over towards the top left corner. Again, option to cross your ankle over if you'd like a little bit more sensation. Breathe into your right side body. Feel a nice stretch all the way from your ankle to your arms. One more full breath in right here and a full breath out. If your legs are crossed, uncross them. Inhale, bring everything back to center. And exhale, allow yourself to settle. Option to release your arms up towards the top corners of your mat, or maybe you bring them alongside your body or somewhere on your body. You could, if you have that blanket or pillow, you could place a blanket underneath your head or place the blanket over the torso to help you feel just a little bit more snugly. If this doesn't feel good on your low back, you can always take more constructive rest and bend your knees and plant your feet. Maybe the knees cave inwards. Invitation to take one hand on the belly, one hand over the heart. Allow your eyes to soften down or close. Breathe into your belly. Breathe out from your belly. Inhale, breathe into your belly and into your rib cage. And exhale, breathe out from your rib cage and your belly. One more time, inhale, breathe into your belly, rib cage and your chest. Feel it all, inhale, or lift and rise. And then on your exhale, feel everything soften and relax back down. Breathe in, I am love. Breathe out, I am love. Stay here with this feeling of love. Feel free to take any other shape that would maybe be more comfortable for you if you'd like for your short Shavasana. Invite ease and softness into your face and shoulders. Soften through your jaw. Relax the skin of your face. Relax your throat. 
your shoulders, upper back. Relax your arms all the way to your fingertips. Relax your back body, hips, legs, all the way down to the bottoms of your feet. I invite everything to relax here on purpose. Shavasana. Very gently start to deepen your breath. Start to invite in a little movement into your fingers and toes. If it feels nice, you can roll your head from side to side. And then whenever you feel ready, you can bend your right arm and roll over onto your right side. Use your bottom arm to support and cradle your head. Keep your gaze soft, your eyes closed. Check back in, notice how you're feeling. Come back to your intention that you set at the beginning of class. Self-love is an ocean and your heart is a vessel. Make it full and any excess will spill over into the lives of the people you hold dear. But you must come first. Author, songwriter, Bo Taplin. Whenever you feel ready, you can gently start to press yourself up. Join me in a seat of your choice to close out practice together. And if it calls to you, you can bring your hands together and just create a little friction, rub your hands together, generate a little heat, a little energy. And then once again, place one hand over your heart and then the other on top. Breathe into the warmth, breathe into your hands and your heart space. Breathe in the feeling of love Breathe out the feeling of love. Breathe in the feeling of acceptance. And breathe out acceptance. One more time, breathe in love. Breathe out love. Breathe in acceptance. Breathe out acceptance. Thank you so much for sharing your practice with me and with each other today. The love light in me bows to the love light in each of you. Namaste. Gently start to blink your eyes open and welcome yourself back into your physical space. Thank you so much for joining me for class today. Again, my name is Faye, that's Cloud. And if you enjoyed this class, do me a favor hit that like button down below. It would mean the world to me. And of course, if you want to see more content like this and you don't want to miss them in the future, be sure to hit that subscribe button down below as well. And if you want to be friends, leave me a comment. I'd love to know how class went for you. Until next time, bye.